Hello and welcome back to the Tech Book. Giant asteroid heading our way? A giant asteroid is heading our way. But no, it won't hit the Earth. This asteroid is about to slam into the moon and crack it right in half. Before getting into our scenario, the moon almost exploded. Let me tell you about the time long ago when the moon almost exploded. It was a beautiful summer night in England, in the year 1178. And one hour after sunset, people witnessed a spectacular phenomenon. A giant flame appeared around the upper part of that evening's crescent moon. And right before their eyes, the moon appeared to split in two before turning black. At least this is how the event was recorded by the local chronicler. As you could probably guess, the moon didn't actually split in half that night. It's possible that what these people saw was a large asteroid slamming into it. But an event like this would have sent massive amounts of lunar material toward Earth. More likely, what they witnessed was a meteorite entering the atmosphere and crossing their line of sight directly in front of the moon. This would have given the illusion of it splitting into two in a fiery fashion. But who needs illusions or questionable historical accounts when we could imagine what would really happen? Just get ready to avoid falling moon rocks. This would be a one in a million experience that you could pass on. Asteroids falling on the moon. And without an atmosphere like we enjoy back on Earth, these objects don't burn up before impact. So even a meteorite as small as 25 centimeters, 10 in, across, could have a big impact on the moon. In 2006, one approximately this size slammed into it. From Earth, the impact looked like a flash that lasted only four tenths of a second, but it created a crater about 14 m, 46 feet long, and 3 m, 10 feet deep. Taking things up a notch, a 40 centimeters, 16 in, meteoroid slammed into the moon at a speed of 90,100 kilometers per h, 56,000 miles per hour. This was such an intense collision that it caused a flash as bright as some stars in the night sky. That means when this happened in 2013, you could look up and see the events unfolding without a telescope. For one whole second at least, the likeliest contender within our solar system of doing some serious damage to the moon would be Ceres. It's the largest object found in the belt between Jupiter and Mars. While it is technically classified as a dwarf planet, it's still only about a quarter as large as the moon. But even that wouldn't be enough to break the moon in two, or at least to knock it out of its orbit. For that, you'd need an asteroid almost the same size as the moon itself. And if this happened, you'd know it right away. About 1.3 seconds after impact, you'd see the moon being torn apart. Massive amounts of debris would be hurtling toward Earth. Some of this debris could be even larger than the asteroid that caused the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. But before you start picturing the life on Earth wiped out scenario, things might not be as bad as you think. Normally, Earth-bound asteroids travel at speeds faster than 100 kilometers per s, 62 miles per s. But it would be different for the chunks of the broken moon and the moon-destroying asteroid. These would have much lower speeds, and with that, much less energetic impacts. If you were lucky, the impact from even the most colossal pieces of lunar debris would release only 1% of the energy of a similar-sized asteroid. Adding to your luck, you'd get to witness a meteor shower of truly epic proportions as smaller bits of debris would burn up in the atmosphere. And this epic collision wouldn't result moon shattered into pieces in two split halves of the moon now orbiting around Earth. Sadly, you'd have to kiss the moon goodbye. It would be shattered into a million pieces. But if it were to somehow break, more or less, in two, there would be a chance you wouldn't even know. At least not right away. That's because the asteroid could have split the moon right between the side that always faces Earth and its dark side. You could still see the front of the moon beaming down on you. Eventually, the two halves could escape each other's gravity revealing two hemispheres in the night sky. And they'd stay like that for a long time, at least until the effects of gravity pulling each half from all sides shaped them into similar spheres. But this would take millions, if not billions of years. If the moon is blown to bits, our night sky would be permanently transformed into a dazzling sea of stars. Venus would become the new, brightest object 
despite the fact that it's 14,000 times less bright than the moon once was. Some of the more drastic consequences of the moon being destroyed. More drastic consequences would start to make your life difficult. The moon is responsible for the Earth's 23.4 degree tilt on its axis. Without it, this tilt could become as much as 45 degrees, much as 45 degrees. That would make our planet spin nearly on its side. And this would mean the sun would no longer shine directly over the equator. Instead, it would beam down closer to the north and south poles. This would trigger some extreme weather and could lead to ice ages that occur on different parts of the planet as often as every few thousand years. And the tides would never be the same again. Earth's powerful tides are caused by the moon's gravitational pull on our oceans. The sun's gravitational pull on our sea levels is only about half of what the moon can pull of. No longer having the moon in our orbit would lower sea levels and have a huge effect on ecosystems and intertidal zones. Tidal wetland species would now have even more fierce competition for food and shelter. This could really endanger a lot of marine life, like sea turtles. The rising and falling of tides is an extremely important factor in giving their offspring the best chance of survival. Still, this would all be a lot better than if Earth took a direct hit from an asteroid nearly the size of the moon. But that's a story. Subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up.